Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today we are going to tackle your fall split workout number two and it is going to annihilate your chest and back. So what you'll need for this workout is of course your can-do attitude, some dumbbells, and your BOSU if you have it. If you do not have a BOSU, don't worry about it. You can do these moves right on the floor. So once you've gathered all the things you need for this chest and back attack, I will see you back here for the warm-up. All right, guys, let's get this party started with a good warm-up. All right, let's just start warming up the upper back by rowing the arms behind us, stepping to get that lower body warmed up. Really pull. Four, three, two, one. Now we're going to take some back lunges and we are going to open up the chest. So alternate those back lunges, open up the chest. You can take them back into cactus arms if you want to. Those are always really awkward for me. I always feel like <laughs> Gumby or something when I do that. One more each side. Awesome. All right. Take it back to the front and center. And let's warm up our lower body by touching those toes side to side. Really sink back and down into those heels. Warm up the glutes. Warm up those quads and inner thighs. All right, one more each side. Boom, boom. All right, get up from that. Get a light pair of weights for rows for you. Get bent over into a nice chair pose. And let's warm up some rows. My back's still a little sore from filming some workouts for Golden Hammer Pipes. So I may be a little bit at a deficit today. Do five more. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Shake those out a bit. Just a little bit. Let's come down into some walkout push-ups. Stretch it up. Walk it out. Push up. Walk it out. Now we're going to do one push-up, one wide push-up. So walk the hands out. Take it back down. Wide push up. And take it down. Keep that core tight. Weight on the outside of the palms. One last push up or two. Very good. All right, do about 10 seconds of jumping jacks to make sure we're nice and warm. And one. Very good. Your warm up is finished. Let's get ready for that first superset in the beginning of this workout. All right, guys, we're ready for your first Tabata superset. 
we're going to pair some plyo box push-ups, or you can just do plyo push-ups or regular push-ups on the floor, uh, with some alternating rows for the arms. Some people call these renegade rows. I thought renegade rows were the ones from the ground in plank. So, I don't know. We're going to leave that question out there to be answered, but we are first going to start with those plyo box, plyo push-ups. So, here we go. Take it down, up. Doing this to recruit power muscle fibers. Very good. If that is no good for you, just do regular push-ups right on the ground. All right, rows. 20 seconds. Pull it back to that hip. Two and one. Very good. Whew. First set finished. <laughs> Just three more to go. No big deal. Alright. Five box push-ups. You can clap at the top. Really squeeze when you're pushing off. Very good. <laughs> Alternating rows are next. I might do a lot of yawning today because I had my baby, <laughs> my little guy who's a kindergartner now, in my bed since 4 a.m. <sighs> had a bad dream. He couldn't get back to sleep. And uh, had a little bit of allergies going on, I think. He had a runny nose that wouldn't quit and he wouldn't blow it. <laughs> And that's one of my, like, ugh, gag-worthy things, is snot sounds, ugh. So I could not go back to sleep. I even put my white noise app on my phone up as loud as it could go. And I still heard that sniffing and snarfing snot. It was so gross. So, I'm a little tired today. A little tired today. No worse for the wear, but pretty tired. I'm using 25 pounds per hand here. I don't know if I told you that. As I'm recovering from velvet hammer pipes. Alright, more push-ups. How are you doing? We have one more round. Go nice and quickly. Here we go, plyo push-ups. And clap. Really push. Very good. Last time you have to do that. And the last time you have to do these. Good old rows. Here we go. About 10 seconds left. Keep your core tight. Pull back toward that hip. Get your lats engaged. Two, one. Very good. All right. Your next superset is not going to be timed but it will have some counting involved. We're gonna do, there I go, I promise. <laughs> We're gonna do three countdown chest presses. So one, two, three, push up for one. Um, and then we're gonna do three count rows. So one, two, three, boom. Okay, now for the chest presses, since that is the mechanism by which I hurt my wrist, I'm just gonna do about 30 pounds. Um, be really happy with that. 
wrong feeling. So get your weights ready. Do your thing. And here we go. It takes you down to your back. There we go. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, two. Three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, five, squeeze at the top, six, seven, eight, very good. Now, we're going to row. So we're going to come up in that row slowly. Here we go. One. Two. One. Three. Four. Five. Six, two more. Seven. Eight. Good job. Rest. Good three sets of these. We'll count it down. Stretch it out. Get a drink. Do your cactus arms <laughs> feel real awkward doing those? And also, stretch the chest up this way. Take the arms in front and counter that with a back stretch. Okay, right, let's go. Let's go. Take me a while to get my weights up there <laughs> just because of that wrist being weird. There we go. That's one. Two. Really squeeze your chest. Three. Slow lower, powerfully push up. Four. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. All right, turning it around, starting some rows right away. Three counts up. Here we go. One, and that's one. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Really squeeze. Four, two, three. Five, six, seven, eight. Very good. Rest. Whew. It's your second set. Stretch that chest out. Stretch your back. Take a minute. We'll have one last set of this. Just a few seconds. Then we'll go to a Tabata superset where you're going to need your 
Bosu. Whew. Good times. One more drink. So I tried the sponge roll thing again, and I used the wrong size rollers. I woke up this morning looking like Shirley Temple, who was trying to dry her hair in the bathtub. So it was like enormous. Um, it looked like it was electrified. So anyway, if my ponytail looks extra tiny, it's because my hair is about this short because <laughs> of those weird curls. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend using a small roller if you're going to um, try to be a winner at life and lazily do your hair like that. <laughs> Uh, embrace your mess ups because they're funny. Very funny. All right, let's go. Here we go. One, two, three, push it up. Two, two, three, push it up. Three, two, three, push it up. Four, two, three, push it up. Five, two, three, push it up. Six, two, three, seven, two, three, and eight, two, three. Very good. Oh, straight into those rows. Three counts up. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Time. All right, I'm gonna get super lightweight for this next superset. It's gonna be a Tabata superset. Back flies are gonna be first. I'm gonna start with 10 per hand. We're doing single arm. So, like that. My wrist lets me. And then we're gonna do single arm chest flies on the BOSU. Um, I'm gonna try. 15 pounds for those. Um, hopefully, again, my wrist will let me do that. If not, I'll go down to 12s and not feel a bit bad about it. Neither should you, okay? All right, so you'll have 10 seconds here when we get the old timer started. And we're gonna do some back flies. You'll need your bow for the second move if you got it. Forget if I mentioned that or not. Here we go. Single arm. You can also do single, single, double. That's a good time. Or just keep flying them out one at a time. Very good. I got that bow seal. start the timer again just to make sure we get our full 20 seconds here we go slight bend in that elbow squeeze at the top weight feels okay on my wrist that is a blessing very good Your other weights for those flies. Here we go. Supersetting these two muscle groups is a great way to efficiently get them nice and worn out. Doesn't take a lot of time, especially when you're supersetting these back to back. Maybe one 
muscle group a chance to rest while the other works. Now I'm doing mine, my fly is inclined. Working on the upper chest. those back flies. 100% strength, strength today. Easy for me to say. single arm flies, either on the ground or incline, however you see fit. Last time. Here we go. Try not to swing them, it's hard to do. Very, very good. Alright. This is our last set of chest flies for this to bottom here. Then we'll go into another rep super set. Very good. Alright. If you need to, towel it off. Move your Bosu out of the way, and we will head into your last rep superset, okay? See you in a minute. All right, guys, last rep superset. We're doing 12 reps here for three sets. I have written down chest scoops in wide rows. The chest scoops I'm probably not going to do because my wrist is hard to twist, but a chest scoop is here, okay? It just hurts to hold my wrist like that. So I'll probably do upright chest presses, okay? So we're gonna go chest scoops for 12 if you're doing those or chest presses if you're doing this, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, that still doesn't feel awesome so I may just do chest presses next time. I don't know. We'll have to see. Now I'm going to get 25 pounds per hand for those wide rows. Alright, here we go for 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Nine, ten, two more, eleven, twelve. Very nice. All right, that's your first set finished. And I am going to do some chest presses, I think, for that next round. You don't want to mess around. If you're feeling like something's hurting, do the thing that doesn't hurt or do nothing at all. You do not want to make an injury worse. You guys having fun yet? This is our last super set before we do a little Tabata cardio and strength finisher. With some fun burpees and back bow burpees. Good times. Whew. All right, we get 30 pounds per hand here for my second set. 
and you do chest presses, um, you are welcome to do those chest scoops. Definitely going to need a lighter weight for those. If you are doing those. Alright, here we go. Higher volume here. So, if you're doing chest presses with me, choose your weight accordingly. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, two more. 11, last one, 12, very good. Going back to 25, for those wide rows. If your weights are ready. Here we go. One, two, three, swing them, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, really squeeze, ten, eleven, and twelve. Whew. Mercy. All right, my grandpa used to say, well, mercy. All right, take a rest. Stretch out your back, your chest, everything that hurts. <laughs> oh, awesome. This will not be the longest workout you ever do, nor will it be the most cardiovascularly taxing, but hopefully it will be a good strength challenge for you. All right, let's get those chest presses or chest scoops or vertical chest presses, whatever you're choosing of this chest exercise smorgasbord. Let's get them going. Here we go, 12 reps. One, two, you could use your bosu here too. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, two more, eleven, last one, twelve. Getting some volume in there with those higher reps. All right, it's your last set of that. You gotta get those rows in. Ready? Last time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. All right, guys, you are finished with that superset. We have one more superset to do. It is Tabata. 
It is push up burpees, chest to floor, whatever you want to do, competition, any kind of burpee you want, um, and back bows, okay? I may do some wide push up burpees. Sounds like fun, all right? So, you have got 10 seconds before you have to get into that. Hopefully, I'll have enough room here. Move the old coffee table. <sighs> Should probably just move it finally. Here we go. Wide push up burpees for me. Let's do a heel grab. Because why not? Very good. All right, back bow burpees. Three, two, one. We'll heel clip those. Give me two bows at the bottom now. Very good. Hardly get a breather with this one. Two, one. Wide push ups. Whatever jump you want. Did a handy workout yesterday and ouch. You can feel it on those heel grabs. Let's try three back bows this time for every burpee. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Ooh. Nice. Last four minutes are counting. <laughs> Here we go. Very, very good. Let's do four back bows this time. Might as well. One, two, three, four. Back in. One, two, three, four. There you go, I keep getting afraid I'm gonna hit my fingers on that beam. All right, wide push ups with a burpee and a heel grab. Arms are getting tired. Last one, try five back bows at a time. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Up, clap. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, very good, you guys. You are all finished with this fun little chest and back workout. I hope you had a good time. Dial it off and I'll see you back here for your cool down. All right guys, it's cool down time. Let's just bend over and do some bent rockers. Stretching up that spine, letting everything kind of decompress there. All right, we're going to take our left hand to our right toe or your right knee if you're not super flexible. And I want you to twist the thoracic spine there. And I really want you to lift your chest. 
as you do that. Don't just collapse into that arm. All right, take it center. This is palms down, get a nice little hamstring stretch. And take the right hand to the left foot. Opening the chest, lifting. Having some good integrity here. All right, just to back forward. And keep those legs wide, pressing down on those knees. Just get a little inner thigh stretch as well. Awesome, straighten those legs out again. Heel toe, heel toe in. All right, now we're gonna come up, do a chest stretch on the wall. So take that palm, face it forward, twist the body away from that arm. All right, other side. It's a great stretch, I'll feel it in your shoulders too. All right, let's interlace those fingers, send the shoulders forward. Now I want you to take those arms up, squeeze the back. You guys did such an awesome job today. Let's get a little shoulder stretch while we're here. Side. We also use those triceps so that can kind of work out. Other one. All right, let's get our forearms stretched. So we're going to face that palm towards the camera, towards the TV. Fingers pointing down. You're just going to ever so gently place pressure on those fingertips. All right, turn it back up. Very good. Other side. Fingers pointing down. and face those fingers up. All right, now we're going to do some inhales and exhales. So inhale up, open that chest, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Up, exhale down, inhale up, exhale down, inhale up, and exhale down. <sighs> awesome, awesome job today, guys. You are all finished with our fall split series workout number two. I hope you had fun and I will see you right back at the camera for your send off. All right guys, awesome job crushing this second workout in our fall split series. I hope you had a wonderful time. I know I did. Um, now, as always, what I need you to do is get a lot of water in your body today, get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout, email us at velvethammerfitness at gmail.com with any nutrition or exercise questions. Um, if you want some personal coaching, either nutritionally or just physically, we are more than happy to do that. You can also email us to sign up for our four week glute growing program. And soon you'll be able to sign up for our Velvet Hammer Pipes program. So stay tuned. Other than that, I tell you what, stretch some more if you need to. Um, make sure that you rest enough so that those muscles have enough time to repair and grow. Because if you don't, what's the point, honestly? <laughs> um, other than just good old-fashioned fun um, but it is nice to see those results so rest if you feel like you need to uh, love someone difficult today as we get back into the 
school year and fall sports, I bet you can find a lot of moms and dads and coaches who might be a little tough to love. So, love them extra hard. They need it. So do we. So whether you feel like you got an enormous weight off your chest by doing this workout with me, or whether you wish you could go back in time to the time before you did this workout, it is your health today and every day. So, you know what you gotta do. You better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. An awesome week. And I will see you soon. Keep growing those muscles.